Hey everybody, Ethan here, and we're back for our next video in the Train to Retrieve series. This is going to be step four. We'll have to do a, a basic evaluation at the beginning here to see 100% we're ready to move on, but step four, we'll be moving to holding multiple objects. So As we start every session, come on, do just a quick movement. Dog's comfortable with this. Don't waste too much time on it. All right, so now that we've done just a quick up and down on the table, we're gonna go ahead and do a few holds. Now we did fingers in her mouth. She did really well with that. We moved into this bumper and hold. We were able to ask, hold. Starting to apply the cue once she's doing a good job with this. And you can see here, ah, there you go, there's a little mistake. Um, this right here, this is the correction. I grabbed her muzzle, I have a hold of her. There's no pressure involved with this, but I do have her. This is not enjoyable. This would be the, the minor correction. Ah, quit. And then we'll put this back in. That says, don't do that again. Um, now, a lot of people ask, why don't you utilize in this process, good, more positive reinforcement. Why aren't you using? You show so much positive reinforcement as you go through the process. Why not now? We already have dogs that love to play fetch 99% of the time. If we don't have a dog that wants to play fetch or your dog doesn't enjoy playing fetch and you come into this process where we're building structure and understanding into holding and fetching, you are going to struggle. We, we've tried a lot of the different methods in teaching that. Now, ultimately our goal here is to have a very consistent and reliable retriever and utilizing positive reinforcement only in that category is still going to leave them in the zone of they have to want to do it. Every dog on my string already wants to do it. What we're trying to do is polish up and fine tune a perfect hold and delivery and have a way to reinforce that moving through collar conditioning ultimately. So in this, it's just structure. It's just structure of learn to hold these things. Good, right here. Learn to hold these things and understand that in these simple steps, good, that's all we're gonna ask of you. So step three was the basis of holding. And then what we're going to do here is move up the ladder. Now, when you think about your different objects, every single piece of these are different, okay? Every single thing along the way is going to be different. I have a good collection of different sizes. We're going to keep you away from these here and different textures. And you have to think about breaking down every part in this process. That's another good one. Break down every single part in this process as each portion you are teaching is going to be different. We are, we're breaking it down as, as broken down as you can get. It's a horrible way to explain that, but um, ultimately this is 100% different than this. Even though they're similar to us, it's like, oh, that should be the same thing. It's not to the dogs. And as we work through the process teaching each individual thing, we're going to, it's going to get easier. So the second thing may take a second. The third thing is going to take less time, fourth, less and less and less as you go, unless you hit something that's more challenging. The bigger the object, the more challenging it's going to be for your dog to hold it. The smaller the object, the easier, which is why we start easy here. So we're gonna grab a couple different things and start rolling through just a few seconds of hold on different objects. About the same size, but wood, so it's different. Come on, good. We're gonna go right in here. Get those lips and gums out of the way, hold. Good, there you go. That's a nice hold. You don't need to hammer on each of these. It's just small introductions. Hold. Good. So that was simple. Okay, let's move up the ladder here. This is a little bigger around, but very similar to the last. Hold. Uh, 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 uh. Hold. Good. Simple, okay. Now we're gonna move to this. Here's a, a ribbed bumper. Uh, my favorites actually are these soft mounts, but we throw in a variety. I don't even know what brand of this is, just something random that will be different. I prefer the, the DT system soft mount bumpers though for a lot of our training as we go on. The fact that they um, have the little ribs helps, but also they're really durable. They hold up well 
and we use them a ton. Good. Hold. Good girl. Ah, 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 ah. See, she was waiting. I talked to her. Don't anticipate here. I didn't ask for it. Good. Now, as we work up here, let's try something canvas. Okay, this has got the little wingies. That's going to be some extra pieces in her mouth. She's making this look really simple. And if your dog's ready with an understanding of hold, it should be fairly simple for him. We need to continue to challenge. Hold. Good. Okay. Move up the ladder. So this is bigger. It's back to a soft mouth, so it should be the same, right? No. It's different. Hold. And take that approach to it, because you're going to find something, and we may in this um, session here find something that she struggles a little bit with. Okay. Good. All right. Now, we've worked through most of these different sizes and textures, and she's doing a really nice job with it. This one's got some feathers on it. Surprisingly enough, you're going to have one of, she's already trying here. Hold. Hold. Good. Now, surprisingly enough, feathers are going to be your best friend or your worst enemy when it comes to this. Even if your dog loves to play fetch with bumpers, they may not like the feather aspect. Or if they love to retrieve birds, they may not want to retrieve birds now that it's a structured thing. It seems weird, but this is how the dog's brain works. So don't be surprised if your dog falls into that category. We're going to call this the end of this session for her. And step four, she held a whole bunch of different items and she is ready to move on. Alrighty, so we're here for shocks session. We do just a quick up and down. Now, I am going to point out one thing. If you have a dog that's a hyper mover, like she is, movement's not going to be a problem down the road. We actually need to spend more time calming her down. So I'm going to clip her up because she is very, very, very good at upping and downing. And we want her to be a little more stable in the sense of being right here, not moving so much. So we had done, and even with her, she struggled a smidge more. So I'm going to do one more refresher this way. Uh, 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 uh. Good. That was simple. We'll move on to what we were holding. This is, again, part of the refresher portion. Keep your session moving. Uh, 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 uh. Good. That was really good. A couple small corrections. See, she was trying to go. This is where she needs to be settled down a little bit. But she was trying to do that little bit of baby mouthing stuff that she was, it's something we have to pay attention to with her. Um, now let's move on. Just to, nope, we did the, uh, this one will be a better transition here. The smaller steps we take, the faster we're going to get there because we're building off of success. When you start throwing too big of pieces and you end up with a dog that has something to struggle, struggle with in the beginning stages here, good. It's going to actually set you back, make things take longer because you're seeing um, this attempt to move up and then failing at it. And although that will be something we have to challenge her later, at this point, we want to be able to build little, little pieces. It's less stressful. It's easier. Just hold this simple object. Good. That was simple. Let's go ahead and move up the ladder. This one's different here. Hold. Ah, hold. You see her trying to spit this. She did well with the other two, but this one's different. Hold. Ah, quit. Good. We're going to do another rep with that. That one was a little bit of a struggle. Um, watch everything your dog is doing. Recognize patterns. Ah, hold. Ah, ah, ah. No. No. Good. Recognize patterns, okay? She's trying to do a little spin on the table. She's trying to move. I interrupted that. She went to go this way. I went with a little poke. Hey, quit that. It's going to be a problem. Anything you see your dog doing, they're conditioning themselves to. And if you don't recognize and stop it, it's going to become a problem. Conditioning is a very powerful tool, which is why we use it a lot in training. But if they're conditioning bad things, you get where I'm going with this. Hold. Good. So after three quick reps, she held that really nicely. Let's move on to canvas. Uh, uh, uh. This one should be one she's fairly used to retrieving. Good. Much, much better. Absolutely no fight with that. So move on. 
keep your session moving. I cannot stress this enough. Hold. Good. That was simple. And then let's go up the ladder here to a bigger soft mouth bumper. And then we'll try this one with the feathers. Hold. Ah, ah, ah. So bigger size. It's different. She's struggling just a smidgen here. Hold. Okay, good. Let's do another rep. No. Good. Hold. Good. I don't have a big release cue. Right now it is a marker of you did it right. And if you remember back to any of the early stages in training, we talk about clicker training. Clickers mark and end the behavior. I am using a verbal marker of good while involving a light touch at the same time. That's two pieces that are timed properly to say, this is the end of what I was trying to get you to do. It's not an out, it's not a drop, it's not a release cue. And you're probably asking yourself, Ethan, why don't you use a release cue? Most of our training is geared toward advanced levels of testing and trialing. And dogs are extremely good at anticipating whatever we are about to do or the pattern. And when you get in that moment and you're in a test and it kind of clouds your brain just a little bit that you're worried you're going to do something wrong or you know you're trying to think through doing all the things right and you go to reach for the bird and you always reach for it and you say out at the same time and you go and you reach and the dog drops it there well now all of a sudden you've lost points and you're not doing as well as what you could have the dog is just waiting for you to actively grab it from them and take it away we do a lot better in the long run Feathers, this will be the big challenge today. Ah, 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 good, okay, good. Let's do one more rep and then we're gonna call that her session. She is basically done with step four, hold. Good, nice job, okay. Off the table backwards for this one as we do all of them. Good girl. Next up we have Clay quick up and down. This is one of the things that he struggled a little bit more of to get uh, ready to rock and roll in the beginning. So we will make sure and do a full up and down until he can, as, long, as he continues, excuse me, to get comfortable on the table. But we don't want to just spend weeks um, trying to get a dog to be the most comfortable dog on the table. We'll do little pieces at a time and ask little pieces as we go up. We need to keep this process moving. We're going to do like we did here, fingers to hold, good. That was simple. Then we'll roll right into this for hold, good. So that was good. We may do one or two more reps and then I still feel like if you're seeing a good enough understanding of hold that you can hold, good. Take a few steps back, kind of give a little bit of freedom and you're not getting an instant drop. Or if you're trying to put this in and you don't have a dog struggling or fighting to get it out of their mouth, hold. Ah, 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 ah. Hold. Good. We need to do another rep. Let's focus, Ethan. Hold. Good, that was really good, okay? Well, we may not be able to progress through all of the items today, but we are gonna try a few. Wooden dowel, same size, easy transition or easier transition, hold. Good, super simple, right? He almost did better with that one. Let's move on. PVC, we've seen this one be a little bit of a struggle for shock, but she figured it out. Hold, starting the same way for him, hold. Good. Nice job, buddy. Let's do another one here. Hold. Ah, 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 ah. No. Good. And that was a good grip. He, you heard maybe just a baby whimper there. That was just his attempt at, I really don't want this in my mouth. So be comfortable with this process. And this is where the part that patreon.com slash standing stone kennels allows me to be live in your training sessions with you to help give you the confidence. Like, I, I don't know why he's acting this way or what's happening or what to do moving forward. Or should I do 10 more reps or should I move on? I don't know. We do, okay? 
So as we're ready, um, as you are moving through this, that would be an invaluable tool to sign up and get help. Good. Of what step you're on, how to move forward, how to progress, and keep you um, moving past any hiccups that may come. Soft mouth trainer, we use a lot of these in training. I would expect this one goes well, but dogs are good at making a liar out of you. Good boy. That was simple. Okay, he's going to prove that we can go much farther. Let's grab some canvas in here. Hold, hold. Ah, 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 ah. Gave him a little too much freedom. Hold. Good. And then, go big or go home, baby. Roll him in there. We're not asking him to fetch at this point. He doesn't know what that means. We're just putting things in his mouth and saying, hold this, ah, 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 ah. Challenge. Everybody's had just a smidgen of issue the first time when we went bigger. Good. Which is just proof that even though these are the exact same thing minus their size, you need to take the time to teach each as an individual, as if they don't know how to do it. Last but not least, this would be our feathers. He's a really good bird retriever, so again, this could go either way. Come this way a little bit. Hold. Good boy. That was really good. Not going to push this session for him any farther. I think that really, in the step four category, he would need maybe one more session, and then he's kind of spot on through the whole box, and then he'll be ready to roll into step five, which will be birds. We're gonna finish his session with a quick little, come on, movement here, good boy. There you go, good boy. And then he'll come off the table backwards, just like everybody else. Got legacy here. We will do a quick walk up and down with her. She took a second to get comfortable with this, but then I feel like has moved into doing a really nice job. We'll get her clipped up down here. And Come on now. And let's do one wrap this way. Good. Then we'll move right into holding the bumper. Just check and make sure her collar was fitting well. Hold. Uh, 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 uh. Good. Do one more wrap here. Hold. Good. And then, da 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 da. Where are you, wooden dowel? Move into the next object. This will be different for her. Hold. Good. Everybody's made a really good transition to this. I think that they like the the feel of the wood better than the hard plastic pieces. So it's important to not make everything easy though, okay? We still wanna work through differences and challenges. It's gonna make the process continue to get better. Can you retrieve this in a new environment? Okay, the bird's now wet. Now you grab the bird and there's a giant clump of grass there, but you can hold the bird with all the grass in your mouth too. So being able to do all of the different things. Then we moved into canvas, no, with this guy. Everybody struggled a smidgen with this pipe. Um, I'm not 100% sure why, but uh, uh, she's doing the same thing. This is, this is different. Ah, no. Good. Um, she stopped and held it, but it was a little bit of a sloppier hold, so we'll have to watch that. Hold. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Good. Nice job. And then move on to this. Hold. Hold. Good. This is again, we use these bumpers a ton. These are the DT System soft mouth trainers. All this stuff is available, well, most of this stuff is available at standingstonesupply.com. These and these I bought a million years ago and I can't find them, but you can very easily go to your local hardware store and grab a one inch dowel or something close to that, one to one and a half inch dowel 
and then a uh, two by four and cut a block off and screw a hole, drill a hole through it, excuse me, and then glue the dowel in there and you've created yourself a buck. So maybe we'll make a YouTube short on that and write that in the old book, Dustin. So we've got a bigger bumper here. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, good. This is something we use a lot in retrieving sessions again, but it's a change. And like I explained, every single item is different. Hold. Size, texture, shoot. Sometimes I feel like if you just change the color of the bumper, it's a new thing. Hold. Good. And let's do this one. Feathers. Do you like feathers, Legacy? Hold. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Uh, uh. She says, not as much today. And like I said, she's a really good bird retriever, but your dog will either love or hate feathers during this process. Good. There's really no in-betweeners. The guys are just like, oh yeah, I could figure that out. It's either they hate it or they're like instantly love switching to birds. Hold. Hold. Good. That was a nice job, babe. All righty. We're going to move on to the last one. All righty, Doc. Let's get started here. All right. Come on. He's been, have we, have, as we've explained before, probably one of the most balanced out of the bunch. Completely comfortable on the table. Moving through each individual step really well. This guy is cool. Okay. So quick up and down. We'll hold here. Good. Nice job. We're going to move through one quick refresher here. I don't think we'll need two, but we might. Hold. Uh, 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 uh. Hold. Good. Nice job. And this is what he was doing, like almost trying to hold on to it. I love that. I love that. It's not an aggressive fight you for it. It's just that baby like, please don't take it from me. I'm enjoying holding this. And... Wooden dowel. Good. Moving through step number four. This is adding variety. Now, your dogs at home, good, may take multiple sessions to work through this process. Okay? They may take, they may be able to get through. Don't drive these sessions into extremely long periods of time. It's not a, good. He did the best with this one. No surprise here, Doc. And we've got some canvas. See, he's just happy, excited for whatever I'm pulling next out of the drawer. Good. Okay. You can see that each, still the same thing, trying to hold on to it. You can see each one of these dogs as we move along has its own personality. My handle is exactly the same, right? The reps are the same. We're making adjustments to fit what their individual needs are, but each dog is an individual. And they've pretty much all taken to the process differently, which is why it's important to, if you have questions, to reach out. This is a little pawing thing that we need to settle down. Um, that we did, this we did, this we did. Soft mouth trainer, here we come. Good. Hold. Hold. Trying not to wait until he goes to drop it to correct him. Little gentle corrections as reminders and then building off of success. We want him to hold it. Put your paw down. Put your paw down. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's see here. We'll go with the bigger bumper. Hold. This guy is a Thunder Quest puppy and is... Fun. He's a fun one to work with. Hold. Hold. Good. And then on to the feather. You made this look simple and different though. So Trix made it look simple, right? She did a really nice job, progressed very quickly. She seems a little less enthusiastic about the process. He's excited. One of the things that we're going to have to watch with him specifically is he has so much desire to do this that we need to judge later. Is he responding to what we're asking or does he just want to do it? It's, a, it's important for him to want to do it, but it's also important to make sure we have the understanding that he is 
Doing what we're asking, not just doing what he wants to do. Which in turn is what we're asking, but the key at the end of this process is handle. Like I said before, all of these dogs are really good retrievers. Hold. Good. There it is. He wants that bad boy. I love it. This is the end of step four for this guy, 100%. We will keep you posted. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Doc. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.